Crazy Head from Crazy Borgies. I hope you're all well and fine on this beautiful Friday, June day. Nearly forgot what month <laughs> it was. I'm terrible. I really am. Right, today we are going to be doing a bit of a diamond painting whip and chat ever so slightly, ever so slightly chatting. So we are going to be diamond painting. We're going to be doing this beautiful wall plaque. So I know it's saying it the wrong way round for you guys, but you'll see it the right way round in a minute. So we're doing the wooden wall pendant hooks. Hooks, yeah. It's like a key hook um, pendant. Yeah. Key hook, not pendant, wall hanger. I'll just put, it's like a key, key hook wall hanger. Wall hanger key hook. Yes, you know what I mean as I progress through the video, okay guys? So, I am going to flip the camera around and you're going to see me diamond paint this lovely wooden um, wall plaque hook hanger. No, wall plaque key hanger. There we go, there we go. And um, yes, we will put it to the test and see if it holds my keys. Yes, okay. First and foremost, if you haven't done so already, if I could ask you to please like, subscribe, share and follow me on TikTok and Instagram on Crazy Borgie's Diamond Art and hit that little notification bell and it'll notify you of my future video uploads. So let's get diamond painting. Right, so this is the ornament. It has faith, hope, love and joy on and we are going to be diamond painting this one i only unboxed it last week sometime so yeah okay that's the ornament and we've got our little hooks there and the screws are all inside with the little screwdriver so we'll sort that out in a bit after we've after we've diamond painted, of course. I've done that thing, guys, where I thought I'd press record and... Oh, and it didn't record, clearly. So I've just done the golden domes and the pink little smooth marquees. And now I'm on to these teeny tiny green marquees here. This is symbol F. Okay. I was just saying how cold it is. It's gone really cold here in the UK. Really cold. I'm just trying to put a little bit of extra wax there. Well, tack. I use blue tack on mine. Right. So this is a light green. Marquee and it's not got any facets in it. So it's a smooth, smooth top. Yeah, there we go. Sort of scattered this symbol. There we go. So I hope you're well and fine and you've had a lovely week. Now we're winding down to the weekend. My daughter, my youngest, she's really, really tired today, I tell you. She didn't even want to walk to school this morning. I was like, come on, let's walk. And she's like, no, I don't want to walk this morning, Mum. Too tired. So I was like, okay. And yesterday, as soon as she came in, 
out of um, gym because she had gym after school she said to me she had a banging headache so but she did have me up at 4am so you know because it's getting lighter in the mornings now and um, one of my curtains has fallen down on one of the windows and it lets all the light in and basically she woke me up at four o'clock in the morning telling me it's time to get off of school and I was like no it's not and she convinced me so much so that I actually thought there was a problem with my phone and that it was telling me the wrong time so I had to phone my other daughter my eldest and say to her what's the time just to be sure because she convinced me you know that it was actually time to get up for school and it wasn't it turned out to be 450 something and I was like no it's not time to go to school get back to sleep so and then she done it again like about half an hour later she's like it's time to get up it's time to get up and I was like no it's not it was about 5 30 at this point so she was really tired as a result of that so last night when she came in I said to her right shower quick shower and bed and I'm not joking you as soon as her head hit that pillow she was out yeah so yeah I said to her when you're getting headaches and when your legs are hurting you that's your body's way of telling you that you need to rest more so Yeah. And my son, I had his height measured uh, yesterday. And he is actually now six foot one and a half. Can you believe it? My 14 year old. I can't quite believe it myself. So with shoes on, he's about six two now. And he's only 14. <laughs> I tell you, I was just like, wow, he's so tall. But um, I said to him, we'll have to get you into modelling or something. And he's like, no, no, I'm not going to be a model. But I don't know. Right, I'm going to do these gorgeous H symbol for the flowers the petals of the sunflowers lovely gorgeous gorgeous I love I love these when they use um, marquees for petals it's really nice Really nice. Uh, very nice. Okay.
Okay. I always try to pour out um, all of the specials when I'm working with them so then I can choose like the best um, the best quality ones. So it was quite funny yesterday because this paediatrician has known my son, well known us since we first moved to where we're living now. So 10, virtually 9, 10 years ago. And uh, she's seen him grow, obviously. And she's like, wow, you're just so tall. And he really is. And um, she said to me, I have to admit, all of your children are lovely. You know, you've got lovely children. I was like, oh, thank you. It means a lot when it comes from a paediatrician, you know. They're the children's specialists, aren't they? So, yeah problem is is that he's now getting to that age where they try and sign him off over onto adult care and adult services and you know it's not the best it's not the best whoops that's stuck to each other that one done my usual fell asleep with Rio last night yeah and woke up to her biting my feet because Rio hates feet she has a real hate for them she really just if she sees anyone's foot around she without a sock on she will go for their toes most definitely so Mind you, even when we've got socks on, she tries to attack them as well. These are really nice diamonds, I must admit. They are gorgeous. Yeah, she's very clever because she knows if she goes and sleeps at the bottom of the bed um, near our feet that she um, that I won't be able, she hopes I won't be able to find her so she can stay in the bed longer because she likes the warmth. But I'm worried that, you know, I can't. 100% sleep with her in the bed because I'm worried that one of us will kick her or roll on her and she does put herself in silly places that something bad could quite easily happen like snuggling up to your legs and all sorts like that there we go, these are beautiful.
Okay. So I'm glad that you guys liked my Timu haul yesterday. As I said, I do have a PR pack making its way to me from Timu. Okay. I feel like everyone's hating on Timu at the moment. So I think they're okay. Oh, Luna's having a little dream in the kitchen and she's making that doggy little bark that they do in their sleep. It's so cute. There we go. So this is going to be a really handy, um, a handy, handy ornament for me to use this one is because I'm always putting my keys down and then I'm like, I can't find them. And you spend about half an hour looking for them. And they're always right in front of your face. <laughs> Always come on, there we go. There we go, lovely, very nice. Okay guys, I'm going to go on to a hyperlapse to complete the rest and then we will seal it at the end now for sealant I always use um, I always use some wood furniture gloss sealant clear gloss yes so but there's numerous numerous different different products on the market so right let me start the hyperlapse hold on one second
right so I have finished diamond painting it so I'm just gonna spray some window cleaner on a wet wipe and then we're gonna seal it just bring up those diamonds extra shiny I mean there wasn't much dust on them anyway but I always do this before sealing just to bring them up a little bit a little bit more Let me just move you over there guys so we can just Don't ever rub either when you're polishing your diamonds after um, after completing the diamond painting because that could move them. You just gently pat like this. Okay. There. So that's a little bit better. So we are going to put some sealant on it now I do apologise for Rio she's in a needy mood today so this is what I use there we go uh, Johnston's indoor wood varnish clear gloss okay and this is a wooden ornament anyway, so it should be fine. Okay. And I just put it everywhere. Literally, I put it everywhere. I always find with the, the wooden ornaments that they really do just suck up all the, the sealant. Okay, so that's it finished diamond painting wise and now we're going to have to put on the hooks so we're going to put these on but that's what it'll look like hopefully on the wall and literally they've provided us with these free sticky back plastic double-sided adhesive strips so I'm going to put one one at I'll do it now quickly I'll put it maybe maybe two down here and one up there or maybe one there and two up the top or maybe no I'll put one at the top and then two here Yep, that's how I'm going to do it. Guys, okay? Right, it is on the wall. Please excuse Luna. Um, I'm going to get some keys now and test it. Oh, yes, that's hanging nicely. And they're quite heavy keys as well. Yeah, so it's definitely doing its job there. Okay guys, so huge thank you to DP Clubs. I'm going to turn that off for DP Clubs for gifting me this product. That's a close-up of the beautiful diamonds. Lovely. Hang on, does it look better? It's better with the light on, doesn't it? So yes. Didn't take long to do either. 
and there we've got joy love hope and faith there we go guys so thank you so much for joining me for today's video please like subscribe and share and i'll speak to you all soon bye for now guys god bless you all bye